Hey guys, hope you're doing well. Been getting lots of questions uh, since the latest Iron Game Chalk Talk episode about the app that I recommended, Trello. And uh, you know, I've had a couple of people come in and, and even talk about it. And um, it's a, a, you know, during spring, during the spring, we try to do just like anybody a bunch of spring cleaning. And one of the things that we really focused on this spring as a staff was getting more organized and making our communication more organized. And I'm I'm the classic to do list guy i have my planner i like to write things down um and it really just got to be too much trying to carry different papers around and um be honest with you just going through too much paper i felt bad about it and so i've really made it an effort for myself as well as our staff to try to go as paperless as we can in the weight room and uh stumbled across an app called trello and uh you know, I, I think it's a game. It's a game changer for us. And so, um, the app by itself isn't the best thing out there. It's just uh, you know, people get confused by it. Um, but if you place it with the Getting Things Done system, it's a book by Robert Allen. Um, and use his system with the Trello app. I think it's like uh, it's just fantastic uh, tool. And so I'm gonna kind of briefly go through how we use it. And uh, there's tons of ways of doing it, and I've seen a bunch of different ways. Uh, but this is how we've had the most success lately, and it's after about a couple months now of uh, vetting it out and trying different things and creating boards and deleting boards and, and starting all over. But I think we've got it to a pretty good spot now. And so what you see here is we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven main boards on, on our list. Um, and I'll, I'll start with boards, okay? So you start, you need to start over here. When you arrive at Tre Trello, you'll have, you know, different boards. So I have a board for Eastern Michigan and for the specific year, and I'll get into that in a little bit. And then I have a board for my, my personal uh, life. And really, you know, this is where a lot of people go wrong is they create a bunch of different boards, which are a bunch of different to-do lists. And you're flipping back and forth, and that's where it gets confusing. We have two boards. I have two boards. And I encourage our staff to have two boards. And so click on Eastern Michigan board. This has an app that is easily to be you can use on your phone as well as uh, web-based. But in the first column, we have what we call big rocks. Okay, these are all the big things. This is like the most important things. And so, of course, for our Eastern Michigan board, that's going to be all the different sports that we have. And so you can see what pictures are assigned to what teams. Um, and so basically, uh, we know at a glance who's got what teams, what our, what, what our sports are, and, uh, and that's where our focus stays on. And everything goes back to that. Your next list is what's called your incoming. Incoming is basically your brain dump. This is your, your notebook and paper, uh, uh, paper and pen. And so every time you think of something, you write it down. This is where incoming comes in. That doesn't mean you can't write stuff down still, but what you should do is come back and throw it into this incoming. And basically from this list, everything's going to get moved somewhere. And so obviously things have uh, been popped up today and we need to move them to where they need to go. They're typically going to go to one of three places. They're going to go to either the next action list, the waiting for list, or the projects list. Next action is, is exactly what it says. It's the very next action of a project, of something that you have to do. So if you have to, you know, if you're going to uh, paint the walls, you wouldn't put paint the wall. What you do is you, the very next action would be to go and decide what color paint or go and buy specific paint. And, and so when you do that, when you put exactly what the next action is, um, then it, it takes the thinking out of it, and when you, and you're able to go, and we're able to move these in order, you know. And so it's a great thing for my staff is that you know I'm you know I'm, it's very hard for me to give things away, extremely hard for me to to hand off responsibility, and so I have to kind of be kept in the loop. I have to kind of know uh, what's going on, and um, and that makes me feel better, and that, that that makes it so that they don't always feel like somebody is. Uh, you know, hovering over them. And so by coming in and seeing what's all, what's all everybody's next actions, I'm able to move things around and say, this is where the priority is because it's not uncommon for me to give them three or four different things to do that day. And so I'm able to move around their next actions. 
And, and basically, this is your daily to-do list. This is what you should be working from. So, you know, Brian should be, you know, coming right here. The very next thing he should be doing is meeting with Coach Murphy about his postseason testing. The waiting for list is basically a list where you, you're needing to wait for somebody else to do something. Um, you know, and so, you know, uh, you know, getting these email signatures with the block E's. We're waiting for our sports information staff to get back to us and show us um, what we need to do there. And so it, it was on our next action. We followed up with the next step, which was getting in touch with them. We're waiting for them to get that back to us. And so that's where that list comes into play. Projects are anything that have multiple steps. You know, and so for us, you know, this is our, our, you know, we got football winter control, quality control. We have our budget here. We have internship program, our power club. We have lots of different things that have multiple. So if I click power club, you can see we have a running to-do list of things that need to get done. And so what I'll do here is at the end of my week or at the, at the end of my day, I'll go through, if everything is off our next action list, I'll go through our different projects and see what are the most pressing items to do. And so I'll look through here. I'm going to follow up with Chris May about the gymnast that he works with. That may be something that, okay, now it fits and that's my next action. I'm going to go, I'm going to take that. I'm going to put that on the next action list, you know, and then I'll come back and I'll cross it off. And this way I have a running uh, list of things that I can go back to if I'm doing it for workflow. So like here, I'm going here. I'm creating workflow so that way when I create the, the Eastern Michigan 2015-2016 board, then I know by creating this card, this is called a card, the Power Club card, that I can go and I can import this list, this workflow list, and I can start sending out and accomplishing these tasks. And so I, I'm not trying to recreate um, something from scratch each and every year that, that I've created a system uh, to, to go with. And then I have different uh, various lists, potential board members, uh, intern tasks, things along those lines. And you can see at the bottom here, um, I'll make in the activities, I'll make updates of where, uh, you know, where we're at on things, you know, just notes to myself. And it's a good place to kind of keep that all in one place um, as we go. And this is where you can, as a staff, if I had this assigned to multiple people, they can write in different things that they've come across so maybe they've had a phone conversation with Carl Carl Miller and uh, and, the, and they just wanted to update me about it instead of having to run to my office every single time they could just put it in the activity and I would get an alert up here that tells me you know just exactly here I didn't you know I didn't give him a dollar amount said he was limited on budget this was Aaron commenting on something we we're, we're a project we got to go about going uh, with graphics and so I'll get an alert that'll turn red, and I'll know uh, right away if there was something that, that had to be done, and I can go address it then and there if I need to. Projects should be things that have multiple multiple things, and what's great about this is that you know I'm you know I've always kind of got my hands in things, so I got my hand in nutrition, I have my hand in our social media, I have our ma a hand in maintenance, but I've also got it assigned to different staff members. And so what we do is we meet as you know, once a week. We'll go through their, the projects and we'll create those to-do lists. And then basically that person is working through that list uh, with their next actions for the week. You know, and, and uh, we're all on the same page and it makes it so it's a really good uh, work environment. Someday maybe is all the things that you think that, you know, that you want to do at some point. So... You know, we're going to do, and I don't, we're not going to call it this, but we just came up with it, um, but a Barbells and Babes fundraiser. We're going to do a, a fundraiser where we're basically going to do like a, a women's boot camp for coaches' wives and, and uh, parents of players and things like that. And so um, that's going to be a fundraiser for us. That's something that's going to happen someday maybe. We don't know when that's going to happen, but that's exactly how that would work. The workflow would go, comes to the incoming, the brain dump, it's not going to go next to action. It's not going waiting for. It is going to be a project at some point, but for right now, it's a someday maybe. Um, and then once it gets pressing, then we'll move it to a project and we'll cre create a to-do list for it and we'll create a workflow for it. So that way, if we do it a second year, we're not reinventing things. And then you have your done. You know, um, it's good to kind of keep track of all the things that have been done. Um, but also, you know, you just it's, it's gratifying to be able to take one of these 
and, and drive it over to Don um, as you go. And so you're able to uh, stay on, on top of that. Then from there, where I think get, things get really cool for strength coaches is that we have all of our sports have their own card or their own list with their different seasons as their card. So, you know, during the, the spring ball, we had a to-do list, you know, that we, we knocked out phase one cards, phase two cards, attendance board, the whole deal. We created systems so that way we turn around and we'll, we'll apply this list to next year's board. And so we'll know right away we need to do phase one cards and then we need to do phase two cards. And we've created a system to make things e easier for us. You know, we had pro timing day during that time. Um, we created a to-do to list for that as well. And so um, this is really cool because we can also uh, add attachments. So let me try to find something that has attachments to it. Um, all right, so we got to send uh, a thank you card and a t-shirt to one of our Power Club members. Well, here's an attachment right here that I can open up, and I've got his address, which I probably shouldn't throw up there, but I've got his address and his phone number and everything to be able to send him a card. So as I assign this to somebody, which if I went and assigned this, I click members, I'm going to click Fred. Now Fred's going to get an alert saying that he's been added to this card. He has... The, the contents he has the address now all he has to do is I'll just move that to next action it is the next action I'll just move it up you know and he'll go and he'll knock that out and move it to done and I'll, I'll have the whole process documented and know that it's done and have peace of mind and so it becomes a really cool system um, or organizational system but it's just like I've heard a lot of people mention you have to do it you know, you know, so you have to get comfortable with brain dumping everything in the incoming list and then each day being deliberate about moving it to either next action, waiting for projects and then going through. And as your next action, your to daily to do list gets cleared, you go to your waiting for to see if anything needs to be addressed or any projects. And occasionally, which is weekly for me, typically, I'll go through and uh, look at the someday maybe and see if there's something on the horizon that we can go. But I can tell you from personal experience, that this has been uh, a way for us to get a lot more streamlined and a lot more uh, efficient with our to-dos, and we've been able to knock out a lot of stuff. And then just briefly, I'll show you, you know, how it works for me for my, my personal board. You guys, are, everybody wonders how I'm able to do all these different things that I do, and, and I talk a lot about that in the book that I'm writing. I talk about this system in the book that I'm writing as well, but you know, my big rocks, obviously, are family and personal, Eastern Michigan, McKee Free Enterprises, and adoption game plan. And so I have my incoming, I have my next actions, you know, that I'm working on. So I'm working on getting two different Iron Game Chalk Talks uh, batched right now so that they go up at a time. Um, you know, I've got some stuff that I'm waiting for, you know, projects, Iron Game Chalk Talks, Strength Coach Basic Training, speaking, you know, all the different things. I have my to-do list for those. You know, coming back home, I had a, you know, I made it, I created a board for stuff that I wanted to knock out while I was back at home. Someday, maybe things that I want on projects, future projects. And then again, a done list that I'm able to go through. And so my whole world lives on those two boards and I'm able to see everything at a moment's glance. And so I'll typically open at the beginning of my day, Evernote, which I'll talk to you about in maybe another video, my calendar app and then my two Trello boards. And that's what's up on my, um, on my screen daily. And between my phone, my iPad, and the computer, um, I use those to really basically just keep things coming into the incoming and then moving them to one of those three lists and working through them each day. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, I think it is a game changer for, for at least was for us. I know a lot of different products exist out there, um, but the Trello app, compared with the getting things done system by Robert Allen, I think is a phenomenal resource for strength coaches. I wanted to share it. So I'd love to hear your comments. I'd love to hear feedback. Uh, reach out to me on social media, tag me. Uh, let me know what you think of this video. If you would like more videos, like it. We'll see you later.